And we're back. Uh, we've got uh, Rick in Denver. How are you doing today, Rick? Good. Uh, thanks for taking my call, Dave. So what are we, what are we looking at here? Uh, XOP. So what are you thinking? Well, I want to enter it, but I think it looks overbought. But I just wanted to get your idea on what you're thinking an entry point would be. It's it's like the um, it's exploration. Yeah, I don't see a lot of reason to be in exploration. Well, I think I'd, it, I'd rather it, be in the crude itself. Uh huh. Um. The reason is there's just uh, exploration was great when there was huge amounts of money being spent for offshore and all that stuff. Not mm -hmm. so much. You just kind of dig a ditch, uh, probably spend a lot more money or buy Caterpillar or something like that, because that's where all the money is for exploration now. Um, you just go up there and strip mine a bunch of uh, of. Uh, uh, oil shale up in the northwest. It's cheap. You don't have to worry about insurance. Uh, you don't have to worry about the BP oil spill stuff. Um, that business has changed. And while there's still some of it, it's nothing like it was uh, in 2006. So we've had a, a titanic change in that business, mostly because of the BP oil spill. So you know, you, you certainly don't see that kind of money being spent in Canada, although they have more wells, probably twice as many new wells this year uh, as uh, they had last year. Um, you just, there's, I think a lot of the oil has been found. So why this thing can move up from 20 bucks to 24 bucks, my guess is it would come back to maybe 2250 or something like that, and maybe you could buy it. But uh, I think the money's probably being made now in actually trading the underlying crude. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. That's why I wanted your opinion on it. And it kind of took off, and it, it, it did take off. It went from 1990 to, I don't know, 24-something, and I never got in. But Yeah, it's just in a big trading range. It's about to pull back a little. It seemed like it, it did have some decent volume when it took it's off. Yeah, it's okay. It's just in a big trading range from about twenty bucks to twenty four bucks, maybe twenty three sixty one. But you know, we, when you went higher on Friday, uh, on the third, you had thirty three million shares compared to the last time up there at forty million shares. So it didn't do it with volume. You got kind of a sideways day here now. Um, again, I everything I see isn't people uh, making giant oil wells and uh, building giant rigs. Uh, up in Sweden, they're towing out to the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, those days are, at least for the midterm, I think are kind of over. We're going to, it's kind of like anything that has a disaster. You have to go through a long time, and then, you know, when we really need oil again, they'll push out those giant derricks, and there'll be a lot of money in that exploration and, and uh, rig building stuff. But I don't know, there's just so much oil in the oil shale these days it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon at least the foreseeable future um, if that was a much bigger issue maybe in another country but really they don't have the oil shells that we do but again the com company's making big money on oil shale caterpillar towing stuff around in big dump trucks uh, not yeah, you not yeah, not drilling holes, uh, per se, is the old way of doing stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of like a couple of areas. Uh, they really haven't paid off quite yet, and that is the transportation of uh, liquefied natural gas in shipping contain uh, in those uh, ships businesses. They kind of go up and down. But I think that if we get natural gas to stabilize at a price, uh, we should be able to export a huge amount from the United States. So I kind of like that part of it. Uh, and then just naturally trading the up and down in uh, crude. So, and, and the offshoots of it. But, uh, you know, there's so much natural gas uh, that's available uh, that literally it's not affordable uh, to send back out to the uh, 
uh, to even put in the pipelines anymore to take it anywhere because there's so much of it. That tells you that there's probably a lot of oil too, right? So it does. Yeah, I guess. So I'm I'm just not thinking that this. I mean, we're going to have. We've really got a tale of two cities now. We've got the rest of the world, uh, and a couple of those places have oil. We have oil, and now our net exporter of oil. So if everything goes to hell in a handbasket in the Mideast, we'll still have oil and enough. It's the uh, rest of the world that has real problems, China, those kind of places. And that's where you really see... Uh, I think kind of the most interesting part of what's going on uh, in the Mideast is if we get in a row with Iran and we turn their oil spigots off, well, 80 percent of that oil is going to China. They're the big losers in this, <laughs> not us. So, you know, whatever else happens, uh, I think that the narrative out there uh, is actually fairly bullish for the United States uh, and uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, the U and G and uh, all the other stuff. I mean, we're kind of separate now. It used to be we were, you know, very linked. So there's, you know, it, I guess over the years, the the uh, North Sea oil and the United States kind of diverged. And it, it just kind of seems like that North Sea uh, and Mid East oil continue to diverge. But, uh, you know, we're going to find more oil and that stuff happens. But I, I you think, think crude's kind of topping out, you think? I think it's probably we had a, a nice little pop with the Iranian deal. Uh, the question is, do you think the Iranians uh, want to start a brouhaha? And from everything I read, uh, Russia is about on the same tipping point that the USSR was in 1990. Uh, yeah. Putin wants to leave and retire and spend all his ill-gotten gains, but if he does, he'll probably be knocked off by whoever comes in behind him. So he can't really go anywhere. Um, and then you see, like people in Iran who would love to uh, do uh, evil, but at the same time, uh, they got oil and that's about it. Um, hey, thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. You bet. So, yeah, I think a lot of uh, the analysis has just been horrible over the last few days. 